What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> day is it? The date? 12, May, Thursday. What year? No. What year is it? Uh, it started 20 years ago. It was the night of the Valentine's Day dance. The Union Hall. Five men buried. My Bloody Valentine came out on February 11, 1981, which means it has been 40 years since the film came out. And I want to talk about it to see if it still holds up or not. So right off the bat, I will say, the film's alright. Valentine's dance in 20 years has to be something special. In this town on Valentine's Day, everybody loses their heart. Take your pick. <laughs> My bloody Valentine. I don't really love this film. I did watch the ultimate cut or the unrated cut where it showed pretty like bloody and gory decent kills. That's the one positive I will give this film. There's some decent kills and whatnot. There's some like cutaways and whatnot, but the kills, the other kills are actually decent and good and gory and bloody. Aside from that, like the characters are fine. I don't really resonate with the characters at all. Like there's the there's this whole again love triangle BS which I don't like at all. It's just kind of there. Why are they doing this? That's that. Other characters they're fun, but again I don't really attach to them. They're fine. The story itself and the lore and like the mythos and not mythos but the urban legend that they built up of this miner killing a bunch of people years ago and then supposedly urban legend dying in bed in a coma or something and then coming back in this town to kill again in this little town i thought it worked kind of like a jason Voorhees friday 13th type where they just tell like a bedtime story or like a campfire story and then this story comes then to real life to fruition which i really like oh i guess one more positive is the pov shot in the laundromat scene where he kills the old lady and then like there's that laundry scene where it opened up and you know washed out bones and blood one that was a cool like practical effect and makeup effect but the actual pov shot i was like okay that's a cool like little shot seeing the perspective of the killer cool but they don't do it for one scene i was like god damn it why couldn't you do that for like multiple times in the film it definitely would have padded the film but instead we get again more love bs there's just one guy i'm f I forgetting like the characters name. like i only remember tom and axel they only met a girl like cheating on one and she still loves one and the other it's like all right okay yeah deal with that a lot of horny teens having sex that's the trope a lot of horror tropes being used again this is 1981 right after friday 13 slasher craze was huge slasher's movie left and right and down all right so it's like there's gonna be a lot of dumb tropes going on it's like i was expecting it now it's like all right this is what this film's doing because it is what it is you know uh, there is that one cool sprinkler scene where like again i'm gonna try to remember all of every kill that i like decent one like water sprinkler so he gets a girl crushes her head and sticks it out of like a water pipe and water stuff coming out was a cool scene again that laundry scene pull out the makeup effect scene that was cool oh that one mouth or like, jaw to the eyeball kill hopefully i can find a clip in it on youtube but that was a really like cool f kill as well and then one last one i can remember right off of my head i guess on my notes that i wrote is the boy boiling head kill where he sticks a this guy's head in a boiling pot it burns up and he finds it in the fridge that was the decent kill as well and then there's probably one more that i'm forgetting but there's some decent kills it's worth watching for like the decent kills in this film so all this is happening a day before valentine's day which the killing start on february 13th but then you know it continues on february 14th so yeah and then february 14th valentine's day love is in the air get more looking at this girl love triangle bs and then that one angry like the jock boyfriend finds out he's angry he gets mad i don't know if they do this well like it's dead like a who done it right it's like a again kind of exact replica or not exactly but a replica of friday 13 like it's kind of a who done it but we know that the killer did this years ago so it's like maybe it's killer from that year ago or like 20 years ago but it's also like wait, how is he still alive how do you get out like it's like okay it's like a half who done it but i have not but either way the final little showdown is in the mind which is what you you know would expect to look like pretty dark but cool setting they're all running around one up being stuck being afraid for their lives turns out the killer this whole time was axel because he saw the original axe murderer axe his own dad to shreds by the way oh that's another cute thing or is it the remake i forgot but he sees dad gets when he was a young boy and that traumatized him in his head so he feels like he's i guess the reason why he started killing see the trauma came back he's like time to kill again and because his girlfriend broke over them was like time for killing again and he's all messed up in the head and whatnot they wish to kill him the, the cops find him why not turns out oh no axel's the killer you know tom is the girl they walk off whatever and then credits roll up so yeah not a really good film at all like it's okay i was here for the kills it was decent and I, i'm glad i watched the uncut version because again aside from that narratively the lore and the, and the axe murder the mind axe murder that's cool but characters i don't really latch on to there's a few you know cutaway shot kills but that was for the decent kills and whatnot and that's about it ain't got much going for it it's short it's a typical 80s slasher nothing much to it except for the kills yeah that's about it i got much to say about it so my bloody valentine 40 years later it's just all right so that was my bloody valentine it's all right if you next video i guess i could tease it's another remake versus with my bloody valentine 1981 going off 
against the 2009 remake in 3D. I remember seeing this in theaters. Don't ask me why, because I was only nine years old. Probably, I don't know how I watched it, but I watched it, all right? So this has been The Road So Far, and thank you for watching.